Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination. Sorry I look kind of a hot mess. Look, hair tentacles and everything. <laughs> We're going to laugh that off today. Uh, because if any of you have paid attention, it's a picture of my ex-father-in-law. May he rest in peace. Um, I have been mourning his passing. Um, that's why I say may he rest in peace. And then I had broke out in hives. And now that's going away. Thanks to Sin City Soaps and Candles. Lovely products. Has been helping that go away. Um, I had a picture of that. A video, I should say, a video of that over on my Instagram, which I'll post later here. Um, and I've been meaning to do my mock up pants, and today's that day um, for me to actually get in to do my mock up pants. Um, now, as you all know, when I do a pair of pants, to know which is the front from which is the back, I will use a blue pin or a set of blue head pins to mark for what? The back. Why? Blue means back. It makes sense. It's logical. It's logic. It's sewing logic. So it's logical. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's kind of funny. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm only going to sew, hand sew. This is a mock-up, so I'm only going to do a uh, stay stitch up the sides on, you know, the back seam and then on the front seam to a point because what I want to do is put in a zipper. Now, mind you, I this will be my first time actually laying in a zipper on a pair of mock-up pants. I'm trying to think, have I ever put in a zipper? You guys might actually end up asking me this. Have I ever put in a zipper on anything? No. No, indeed I have not. And I will admit this. Um, so, this will be good for me. Um, it'll be good for you. It'll be good for everybody. Yay. Um, so I already threaded up a needle with red thread. It doesn't have to be totally matchy matchy. I tried getting a more burgundy thread out, but then I remember, okay, um, that's not going to match. Uh, so since it's just mock-up pants, I'm not going to use my more expensive thread. I'm going to use my less expensive red thread for a pair of mock-ups. Um, so to get started on this, normally I would go from top to bottom, which is fine if you want to do that. That's perfectly fine. Um, but you also have to remember where you want to leave a space for your pocket. Now, then that comes down to seam ripping. Do you really want to seam rip out a lot? And also, these are going to be high-waisted pant. Then you have to go back in, seam rip, go back in, and rip out. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. And we don't want messes. And, um... Yeah, we, we don't want messes. So basically what you could do if you really wanted to, because I want to make these high-waisted and I cut this like this on purpose, you could take that dip area right there and make that where you want your pocket to be, right? And I have the other side pinned completely together and this is how I usually do my running stitch for my stay stitch. 
which I know I should have put this behind me so that you don't have to see the irrational rash on my neck. But you guys know I like to talk to you face to face. So I, what I am doing is I'm leaving a half inch at the same allowance because this is a mock-up. And we can always take that out. Now, when I go to pull the thread, I put my thumb right here at the thread so when it goes, I can catch that and keep it from making a knot. You know, we like to be naughty sometimes, but not that kind of naughty. <laughs> Get through. See, like, you might be able to see that. I don't know. I might have to pull the chair closer. Um... I'll let you know right now I'm having to deal with the smaller laptop until I can upgrade again. Yay, right? Um, so yeah, let me pull you a little bit closer. I actually have you on a chair today with some boxes on the top of it. And I am still a little tired. My friend's like, you're not taking in enough calories. I'm worried about you. Uh, yeah. I'll be better. I promise. I'm trying. I'm trying. He thinks I'm fasting. I'm not fasting on purpose. I promise. Just my nerves are a bit shot right now. But things will get back to normal. Things will get back to normal. <laughs> I think that's probably why I decided to do the mock-up pants today. And you guys all know that, weirdly enough, that this laptop, my hair is such a mess, sorry. Um, that, uh, yeah, that, I, you know, I do remember this laptop once upon a time having a pause button, and I don't know what the heck ever happened to that. I miss having a pause button. But as soon as it, things can get better situated, well, you know, everything will be back to normal. Back to normal. And, uh, you know what? <laughs> Oh, that's right. I did it. You go onto my uh, Instagram TV earlier and say, you know, I invited people from Instagram TV to come over here from the history bounding community because this is a wide leg pant and that would be more historical. And I did a poll over there for which fabric to use for my wide leg pant. And it was like a really hard decision because it was kind of a split decision between the fabrics. I was like, oh, it is. It's really a hard decision. Because I love both fabrics. And I was like, and somebody's like, well, why don't you just get a plain red? And oh, I gotta get a plain red fabric. But also coming up soon, I will be doing a mock-up pair of moccasins. That's kind of funny to say, a mock-up pair of moccasins um, for this year's powwow before I even bother to touch my Ralph Lauren hides. Don't be coming at me for that. It's a Native American thing. <laughs> Trust me, 
all sorts of nationalities have used animal hides to make stuff. Like, if, if you eat uh, meat, what do you expect to happen to the rest of the animal? Do you expect it to go to waste? No, expect it to be used somehow. Shoes, handbags, I'd rather have it be used. Hats. Just like back in the day. Jackets. in the day thing. Oh, people always say, you know, like, we don't want things to go to waste. Hmm? Plant life uh, is now being made into stuff like, okay, they're taking like leftover uh, stuff from plant life, like from bamboo and making chopsticks out of it. I don't know how the heck they're doing that. But apparently they are. Now, I will show you in a moment. Goodness, goodness, goodness. That had a bunch of tangleage. Um. <laughs> goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Um. And I want to be really careful because I have a lot of straight pins in this. And I don't want to, like poke myself. Um, nobody wants to do that. Where did it go? Anyway, so I will just quickly show you the seam. Oh, look at that seam. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Seems to be pretty good to me. Oh, a sewing joke. <laughs> Seems to be pretty good to me. Sometimes I can crack myself up. See, there you go. And you know what? Like, I don't like drinking soda. But my friend was like, I think your sugars are going too low sometimes. So I told him, you know, like, could you take me to where there's a bunch of calories? And she's like, where? And I'm like, Wendy's. I normally don't like eating fast food. So he hurried, put his shoes on, <laughs> just to take me to Wendy's. I got their chicken Ostiago, but I got it spicy. And then I ordered um, some bacon jalapeno fries. Yeah. Those weren't too bad. He's like, you gotta eat more than that. You don't eat enough calories in the day. I'm trying. I'm seriously trying. I promise. He counted my calories yesterday. This is hilarious. He's like, you're only eating 700 calories today. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I had to laugh about that. Like, why? Why <laughs> would somebody want to count your calories? Oh, you gotta laugh about that. And as you notice something, it's not puckering. 
when you do this, you take it in through, through like that. I don't know if you can see the needle, right? Yes, you can, right, ow, right there. <laughs> right? And then push it back through, and then, yes, I know, Rindy, I have to finish Joey's little shirt. promising you that and I really have to get that done my friend Rindy Ray um, I can't let her down I have to get that done I just have to get it sewn together and a few little details left on it it's it's sitting over here and I really like I just need to get this done the needle is with it so that's why I have to be careful picking it up so It will get done. Shall get done. I just haven't. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been all in the best of everything lately. I just haven't felt myself. You know? I just haven't felt all that. All. Have you, uh, have you guys ever had those times? You just haven't felt all, yeah. Or you haven't felt like wanted, needed, you, so you just, yeah. Or you feel out of place. I've never felt like I belong. But that's just me. I've never felt like I belong. And then the history bounding community came along. I'm trying. I'm trying. I've never fit in anywhere. I have never fit in. I mean, while I'm doing this, I'm wearing a Death Wish coffee tank top and a pair of periodic table pants. Tell me that's not weird. <laughs> I'm wearing periodic table pants. That's how nerdy I am. Maybe you guys have seen me in a video wearing my periodic table pants. Oh yeah, you have. If you watched the video where I made that pair of undies. And I was wearing my periodic table pants. Yep. I'm probably boring you guys to death, and I apologize for that, but I did promise this to you, and I have been enjoying the history-bounding community. Trust me, you guys are awesome. Um, if you haven't yet, go check out the history-bounder. Um, and all of the other channels that do history bounding, um, Rachel Maskey, okay, Morgan Donner, Bernadette Banner, yes, we are all history bounders. Oh, and there's a long, long list. Um, let me see who else. Because Morgan 
had posted somebody else. I have to look on my Instagram. I have them on my Instagram. There's such a long list of us history rounders. And I love history. And a wide leg pant or a wide leg trouser, depending on the style of it, goes for different points in history. Um, there's a riding pant. There's a uh, crop pant, a gucho, a culotte. Um, if you remember those. A lot of people may, a lot of people may not. I don't think we're weird just because we wear those. A lot of things are coming back in style that you wouldn't think would be. Um, see, like, look. I'm boring you to death while I'm doing And no, uh, these aren't exactly all matchy matchy. Um, Another thing that I did that I posted for history bounding was uh, my Western Duster, which they said is appropriate for history bounding for the Old West. Yay! Right? Because they said I knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> How about that? For those of you that sew out there, they said I so got that right on target. Yeah, they they love it. Um, Arizona Ghost Riders, they love it too, because they like the fact that I got it historically correct. See, historical accuracy, even with my, um, my shawl, it has vintage historical accuracy to it because I wanted it to be more Edwardian. So that's why I made my shawl in those rose colors to look more Edwardian. So, I can't actually say that I made an Edwardian garment. It's just that I had crocheted it. <laughs> so, yeah. And I have been knitting and crocheting a lot lately, more than sewing. And I know you guys have seen my stuff from Fabric Mart, and hopefully I get the chance to go back up to Fabric Mart here real soon after I do some sewing with my fabrics from Fabric Mart. Um, I really and truly need to do a segment on putting my corset together, and we'll see about doing that when I can do that and edit everything together. I don't have an editing program on here other than the one from YouTube and yeah, I don't really want to mess with that. I don't want to be sitting here like all day, all day, all day and try to edit that because that's very tedious. And this is just my hobby. It is. YouTube is my hobby. It's not like I just woke up one day and said, I want to be a YouTube creator when I grow up. Oh, it's just a hobby, my friends. Now, one thing I thought of for design for my new, um, for my new, uh, dress for the powwow, 
was taking the one hour dress that I was watching <laughs> Morgan Donner make. And it's kind of sort of the same design as something we would do for the powwow world. Um, because the gusset and the sides uh, are kind of about the same as the old style gusset that's put in to the dresses for uh, the buckskin dresses for powwow dancing. So uh, I might actually try that one hour dress design, make it longer, obviously. I'm not going to put a bunch of pleats ar around the whole thing. Maybe only at the sides because literally that's what we would do for uh, powwow dresses. Sometimes you do that even for a ribbon dress. Just to make it more, you know, fancy, traditional fancy dance style. So, hey, Morgan, you kind of did a uh, shorter traditional fancy dance uh, <laughs> style dress if, if you were going to a powwow. <laughs> That's okay, though. I love that one hour dress you came up with in three hours. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I almost have this sewn all the way down on one side. This, I might have to do this in parts, but um, I will show this to you. Again, the seaming on this, when you're doing this by hand, right? Look at that. Look how clean that is. And I'm just doing this as just a stay hem. But look how clean that hemline is. And there's the hem right here. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's right there. You can't really tell it's there. Not really. Anyway, guys, um... I've already gone on 27 minutes with boring the crap all that out of you. So I will do another part on this and then be back with that when I have most of this sewn. And, um, and then slip it on and show it to you. And, um, yeah, definitely. Because I am wearing shorts under my periodic table pants. I really am wearing periodic table pants. Excuse me. My dinner is talking. Um, <laughs> and uh, periodically speaking. <laughs> so um, I want you guys to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed. And I will be back as soon as I'm done hand stitching most of this and if you guys want a good way to get rid of hives check out Sun City Soaps and Candles <laughs> thank you guys I love you Nicole and Wayne um I used their uh chocolate chip mint sugar scrub and uh, that was to get a bunch of dead skin. Oh, I know that's gross. And then I used their apple. Yeah, their apple. No. Um. <laughs> anyway, this is what I use. <laughs> for gonna laugh. Um. For a moisturizer and uh, look it like it cleared it up it, it was such a mess yesterday when I upload that video later 
Like, mm -hmm. And it's such a great moisturizer just to have as a moisturizer. And this is a body butter. And it smells so nice. It's not overly potent. They never make anything overly potent. And, um, one thing you never want to put on hives <laughs> is a rosemary mint because rosemary will burn the crap out of your skin <laughs> when you have hives. Um, but use this on there. <laughs> I did put the rosemary mint on there and I was like, no, wipe that off. <laughs> <laughs> the rosemary will literally burn your skin when you have uh, hives. It'll just make it worse. Um, I was trying to remember, like, healing element. Which one do I grab? Quick! <laughs> but you do want the apple. Um, the apple, uh, yeah. This is the one you want. And... It smells so good. And don't forget, I do have a 20% off discount code with them. It's Shars Nation 10. Please use that. Save your skin. And they use natural product to make their product. And uh, do your skin a favor. And uh, use something natural. And it's always simply good from Sin City soaps and candles. So anyway, I'm going to uh, finish the sides and the back. And uh, then I will be back. All right. See you then.